What's up friends? It's Sam Matthews again from Art Across Borders. I'm going to show you how to do a skeleton face paint today. So grab your paintbrush, a cup of water, and your face paint. and Let's get started. So it's helpful if you do have a sponge for this, but I don't have one. So I'm just going to use a really big paintbrush. Now this face paint is dry, so every time you wet it, it will activate and then, which is great because then it can last for a really long time and won't dry out. So you're going to load up your brush with white. Make sure your brush is really clean before you use it. And I'm going to paint my whole face white first. So this is going to take a second. So grab your brush, make sure it doesn't have too much water on it and start painting over your face. I'm actually going to wipe out this area around my eye because that's going to end up being black anyways. So that way I don't have to waste paint or let it dry and make sure it is not gray or anything. So I'm just going to clean that up. It's helpful to have extra paper towels or Q-tips on hand to help clean up any areas that you don't need to paint. Okay, back to it. For the best coverage, it's kind of helpful to paint in little X's over your face. And I am going to paint over my lips as well, too. Okay, now you wanna make sure this is really dry before you do any of the black. So we're gonna let this dry for a couple minutes and we'll be right back. Okay, our white is pretty dry. So now we're gonna go in with our black and I'm going to outline all of the areas that I'm going to add a little bit more black to eventually. But I'm just gonna start by kind of outlining them first. It's pretty crazy when to get going, but these are the teeth. They don't have to look perfect. I actually have a black eyeshadow that I'm gonna use as well. I'm gonna draw a couple thin black lines to kind of look like um, skull bone lines. <laughs> I don't know what they're called, but our skull is made up of different pieces and it kind of shows. So I'm gonna paint a couple different like thin little lines that are kind of squiggly. Try to make my eyes as symmetrical as possible. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the black eyeshadow just to kind of blur things a little bit and make it look a little bit more saturated. They probably sell black eyeshadow at most drugstores, I would say. This palette that I have just happens to have black in it as well. Now I'm gonna go in with white one more time just to add some highlights to the teeth to make sure that they really pop. So 
So again, I went beyond my mouth line, obviously, and I painted right over my lips. I'm gonna add a touch of red, I think, under my eyes as well too, just to give it a little bit more of a spooky vibe. I also happen to have red eyeshadow, so I'm just gonna use a touch of that. I think I'll even put a little bit on the teeth, make it look like blood a little bit. All right. What do we think about this spooky skeleton? Pretty easy, right? Not that hard. You just gotta draw some shapes, draw in some teeth that are lines. Make sure you add little arches to make the top and bottom of the teeth and extend the lines beyond where you drew the horizontal, the sideways line. I'm just gonna darken up my eyes a little bit. All right, here's our final spooky look. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure to tag me in any of your pictures. Follow Art Across Borders on Instagram and Facebook. And happy spooky Halloween.